3. Indicate whether the following processes are spontaneous or non-spontaneous. And then we have letter D. So is a ball being thrown into the air, is that classified as a spontaneous or non-spontaneous reaction? Well, the difference is down here. A spontaneous reaction occurs without a continuous amount of energy from an external source. However, a non-spontaneous reaction, we do need a continuous amount of energy from somewhere in order for it to happen. Well, let's see, a ball being thrown into the air. So here's a person and here's the ball, right? And the idea is that the ball is going to be thrown up into the air. Okay, cool. Now, how is this ball gonna be thrown into the air? Who is going to be throwing the ball? Does this ball just miraculously get thrown up? No. The person had to actually use energy in order to get that ball into the air. That is a continuous amount of energy from an external source. The external source is the person that's holding the ball and using the energy to, you know, throw their hand up so that the ball goes into the air. So if that's the case, this would not happen under natural conditions. A ball does not just, you know, go upward without somebody throwing it. So a ball would never just launch into, you know, the sky without that external source of energy. So because that's the case, this is a non spontaneous reaction. We needed that continuous input from the person to launch that ball into the air. And that is the answer to this one. Okay. What did you think? Did you love my drawing? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel and I hope to be talking to you in later lessons. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.